There she is, my home. So, uh, I haven't made a YouTube video in years, but I figured this would be a good time to get back into it because I have decided I'm gonna live in my truck. I've got a 2004 Tundra that I'm basically gonna live out of the back of. I'm gonna travel the country while I have no priorities right now in life. I just graduated college and I've got nothing else to do. I replaced these shocks yesterday. So this thing, it used to, it would, if it was like halfway, it would just fall right on my head. But now, it ain't going nowhere. And I'm starting to put some carpet around here, just for the aesthetic and the sound and just a little bit of insulation. It's not the best carpet job ever, as you can see. This is what I'm using. It's pretty freaking sticky. I gotta take these back off. I've never done any woodworking before, so I'm kind of nervous about that part, but I think it'll be okay. I think I can get it done, but don't take my word for that because it's going to be rough. It's not going to be perfect at all. No, I'm not even close. She's all carpeted up. Check it. I've got it like overlapping in some places. It's a little wrinkly. It's just overlapping. Pretty much everywhere. You can't really tell on camera that bad, but I mean, there's like four different pieces just right there. All right, day three of building out the truck. I'm gonna put these boxes together, lay them on the plywood and trace it out just to make sure I have a perfect, perfect fit. All right, so I'd say that's about the length here. Now keep in mind, I've never had any experience with woodworking and I'm about to cut wood right now. Got my safety glasses on, got my thingy here. I'm about to go to town on this freaking wood right here. Should I use this? It looks way too powerful. I was using a jigsaw. Wait. I was using a sawzall. That just was way too powerful. So my stepdad showed me use a jigsaw instead and it is making all the difference <sighs> it is freaking hot than a mug Not mad about it. Not mad about it. I mean, she ain't perfect. Might have cut a little bit too there, too much right there. And maybe a little too much there. But that's all right. All right, I've got this side pretty much traced out. Here it is. I feel like I'm gonna have some problems. Once I get it in, it's gonna be just like, cause it's a smaller piece. I can't really think of why that would be a problem, but I feel like I just will have a problem. I don't know. Holy crap, I'm so bad at this. Look at how much room. Ow, shit. Look how much room I left. God, dog. I can just fill that in. Because I'm not wasting more wood. I can just fill it in with like that piece or just scraps. I bought this handy dandy sander from 
the Walmart. So I'm gonna sand these pieces down, I guess. Fit them in there, then we'll go from there. All right, this is what we've came up with. We've got these little boards here. So yeah, this is hard. Woodworking is not easy. Look at this mess I've made. Gosh. All right, we're back. Day four. I freaking left the window open and it rained a storm last night. Hopefully the wood's okay. I'm gonna dry off, dry off the little bit of water that is inside. God, I'm such an idiot. Stupid. So this jig that I bought, don't ever buy this thing. It's a piece of junk. It doesn't even drill, and when you put the nail or the screw in, it just splits it right through it. All right, I got the top all measured out, and uh, I'm gonna cut it. This is gonna be the top of the drawer system, so like basically where I sleep, it'll be. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully it fits. We'll see. A little bit later in the day, about three hours later, I had to go to Home Depot get and get some more uh, plywood for the drawer because I guess I didn't get enough three-fourths inch plywood. Get another um, jig jig kit for the uh, for the pocket holes. Harbor Freight, baby. Harbor Freight's finest. So we'll see how shitty quality it is. Then I got some drawer sliders for a cutting board that will go under the drawer. It's a vlog. Power tools. The cold beer. <laughs> Day five. Day five of the truck build. It's been it's been a week since we've worked on it. I've been waiting on some things. We still have nothing in the back yet. My refrigerator just came in. That's pretty cool, I think. All right. So, we've got the drawer, one drawer slide and one side of the bed down. And then the other side of the bed. Now we just gotta put the other drawer slide in, make the drawer, screw the drawer in. We just gotta screw the drawers in here. And then, whoa. Oh, this is the take you down the road. What is it? Wait, wait, wait. So take me down the road, that's a little bit of We gotta scoot it in, but. Working. She works. I'm gonna have my, have my little cutting board right here. I worked on this all day yesterday. Well, not all day, but um, I got a ton done. I wasn't videoing anything because I was watching the Rangers whoop some Astros butt. And then I watched the Cowboys kick some butt after that. But I got a lot of stuff done. Let me show you the update. Anyway, I got the drawer and the cutting board. And then this is going to be like my hallway, my aisle with the removable piece when I go to sleep. It goes in and out. And then this is gonna be like storage. This goes all the way down, storage for clothes or whatever. I'm gonna put a little top on it right here. And yeah. All right, now we are about to stain the wood. This is the pre-stain. Mix it, don't shake it, but mix it. All right, I've got the stain all put on. I didn't do like spots like that. It's gonna be covered. You're not gonna see that. And inside the under the drawer, you're not gonna see all that. 
And this side, you'll never see it, so... I just didn't even worry about it. But now, I'm applying lacquer to give it that finishing coat and just to keep it from molding as much as possible. Now I'm about to cut the sheet metal that will go on my cutting board.